presentation by FourYearEKG.com. Lesson 3 The Basics Anatomy and Physiology. Cardiac Anatomy and Physiology. EKG professionals must have an understanding of what the heart looks like and how it works. Anatomy is the study of body structures, and physiology is the study of how those structures work. The heart is a hollow muscular organ that lies in the center of the chest and is made up of four chambers. The upper and lower chambers are separated by valves, and a muscular wall separates the right and left sides. It lies behind the breastbone, or the sternum, and to the left of the chest cavity. The heart is roughly triangular in shape, with the wider part, or the base, at the top, and the pointed end, known as the apex, at the bottom. The apex points downward and toward the left. Cardiac anatomy is not as complex as it seems. It's essentially made up of four chambers, four valves, and four vessels. The right and left side are mirror images of each other, but perform separate functions. The heart is a hollow organ, made up of essentially four chambers. When discussing cardiac anatomy, it's important to understand that all descriptions are based on the patient's right and left, not yours. The heart is made up of four chambers, two on top and two on the bottom. Each upper chamber is called an atrium. Each lower chamber is called a ventricle. Each upper chamber is shaped like a little a for atrium, and each lower chamber is shaped like a big V for ventricle. The chambers are identified by right and left, based on which side of the heart they're on. So a recap, the heart has four chambers, two on top and two on the bottom. The top chambers are called atria, and the bottom chambers are called ventricles. They're identified by right and left. The right atrium and the left atrium, the right ventricle and the left ventricle. Each side has an atrium and a ventricle. There are just four valves in the heart, two on the right and two on the left, just like the chambers. Here's a helpful hint. Understanding that the prefix by means two and tri means three will make this a little bit easier a little later on. Bicycle means two wheels and tricycle means three wheels. So anything with the prefix by is going to indicate two. Anything with the prefix tri will indicate three. The valves between the atria and ventricles on both sides of the heart work the same. These are called AV valves or atrioventricular valves because they lie between the atria and ventricles. This term just indicates where those two valves are located. The valve on the right side is the tricuspid valve. It's called that because it has three leaves. The valve on the left is called the bicuspid valve because it has two leaves. Here's an easy way to remember this. The word right has five letters and the word left has four letters, so right has one more letter than left. Tricuspid has nine letters and bicuspid has eight letters, so tricuspid has one more letter than bicuspid. So tricuspid valve is on the right because both right and tricuspid have more letters. The valve on the left is also called the mitral valve because when viewed from the top down, it looks like the Pope's hat. There are two valves leading from the ventricles into the blood vessels leaving the heart. These are called the semilunar valves. Semilunar just means half moon shape, so it describes what they look like. The valve leaving the right ventricle is called the pulmonary or pulmonic valve. 
The valve leaving the left ventricle is called the aortic valve. Here's a helpful hint. The suffix ic, I-C, means pertaining to. So aortic is going to mean pertaining to the aorta. Pulmonic means pertaining to the lungs because the term pulmono means lungs. While each valve is an individual valve, we can group them based on what they do. Think of it like this. Socks come in pairs. There are two, one for each foot. They look the same, they work the same way, and they're used at the same time. But each sock is an individual. They can be distinguished from other socks by a certain characteristic, like blue stripe socks or long socks. But we don't say, hand me my left sock and my right sock, please, because it would take too long. We group them as blue stripe socks when we refer to them. Valves are the same way. We group them by AV valves or semilunar valves because they work the same way at the same time. So here's a valve recap. The valves that lie between the atrium and ventricle, or the AV valves, are your tricuspid and mitral valves. The valves that lie between the ventricle and the vessel, or the semilunar valves, are your pulmonic and aortic. Each side of the heart will have both an AV and a semilunar valve. This chart breaks it down for easy reference. Here's a memory tip. When trying to remember what order the valves are in, try this tip. When looking at the valves in the heart in order of appearance, the valves on the right are T and P for tricuspid and pulmonic, and the valves on the left are A and M for aortic and mitral. A great way to remember this is that you need TP in the AM. Just like the chambers and valves, each side of the heart has two vessels, a vein, and an artery. The vein on the right side is the vena cava, and on the left side it's the pulmonary vein. You also have two arteries in your heart. On the right, it will be the pulmonary artery, and on the left, it's the aorta. Each side of the heart has to have a blood supply coming in and going out of that side of the heart. Arteries always carry blood away from the heart, so any vessel that carries blood away from the heart is going to be an artery. Blood is carried back toward the heart by veins, so any vessel heading toward the heart will be a vein. A great way to remember this is the word vein has the word in in it, so veins go in to the heart. So here's a recap of the vessels. Each side of the heart, both the right and the left, must have a vein coming in and an artery going out, or a way for blood to get in and out of each side of the heart. Remember that veins bring blood into the heart and arteries always go away. The vena cava is the largest vein in the body. It transports blood to the right atrium. Remember that veins go into the heart and the vena cava is a large vein. Vena cava actually means hollow vein. The pulmonary artery is going to transport blood away from the right side of the heart and it's going to take blood to the lungs. Pulmonary is the term that means lungs and remember that arteries always flow away from the heart so pulmonary artery moves blood away from the heart to the lungs. The pulmonary veins return blood to the left atrium once it's been oxygenated. Remember that veins always go into the heart. Pulmonary means lungs and vein always moves into the heart. So the pulmonary vein moves blood from the lungs into the heart. The aorta is the largest artery in the body and it transports blood from the left ventricle into the entire body. Aorta actually means to lift or to be raised up because it rises from the top of the heart. 
Remember that all arteries go away from the heart, and the aorta is a large artery. So each side of the heart has two chambers, an atrium and a ventricle, two valves, an AV valve and a semilunar valve, and two vessels, an artery and a vein. All you need to do is learn their names. Here's a tip. Pause this video on the next slide and print it for easy reference later. This chart provides a recap of all the parts of the heart that we've learned so far. In future lessons, we'll learn how these parts work together to create a functioning heart. Great job! Let's see how much you learned by taking a brief quiz. Question 1. Which blood vessels lead away from the heart? A. Arteries B. Veins C. Vena cava or D. Capillaries And the answer is A. Arteries. Arteries always carry blood away from the heart. So any vessel that carries blood away from the heart is going to be an artery. Question 2. The large chambers at the bottom of the heart are called A. Atria, B. Ventricles, C. Aorta, or D. Vena cava. And the answer is B. Ventricles. Each upper chamber is shaped like a little a for atrium, and each lower chamber is shaped like a big V for ventricle. Question 3. The word pulmonary means A. Lungs, B. Heart, C. Arteries, or D. Brain. The answer is A. Lungs. Remember that pulmonary is the term for lungs. Question 4. The vessels that bring blood in toward the heart are called A. Veins B. Arteries C. Aorta or D. Ventricles And the answer is A. Veins Blood is carried back toward the heart by veins. So any vessel heading toward the heart will be a vein. A great way to remember this is the word vein has the word in in it. So veins go in to the heart. Question 5. The valve located between the right atrium and right ventricle is the A. Pulmonic valve B. Aortic valve C. Tricuspid valve or D. Mitral valve? And the answer is C. Tricuspid valve. The valve on the right side is the tricuspid valve. It's called that because it has three leaves. The valve on the left is called the bicuspid valve because it has two leaves. Question 6. How many chambers does the heart have? A. 2 B. 1 C. 4 or D. 6 And the answer is C. 4 The heart is a hollow organ made up of essentially four chambers. Question 7. The pointed tip of the heart is called the A. Apex, B. Base, C. Point, or D. Atria. And the answer is A. Apex. The heart is roughly triangular in shape with the wider part, or the base, at the top 
and the pointed end, known as the apex, at the bottom. The apex points downward and toward the left. Question 8. The small chambers at the top of the heart are called A. Ventricles, B. Apex, C. Point, or D. Atria. And the answer is D. Atria. Each upper chamber is shaped like a little a for atrium, and each lower chamber is shaped like a big V for ventricle. Question 9. The valve between the right ventricle and the pulmonary artery is the A. Tricuspid valve, B. Pulmonic valve, C. Mitral valve, or D. Aortic valve. And the answer is B, pulmonic valve. The valve leaving the right ventricle is called the pulmonary or pulmonic valve. The valve leaving the left ventricle is called the aortic valve. Question 10. Both AV valves are located A, between the right and left atria, B, in the aorta, C, between the atria and ventricles, or D, in the lungs? And the answer is C, between the atria and ventricles. The valves between the atria and ventricles on both sides of the heart work the same. These are called AV valves or atrioventricular valves because they lie between the atria and ventricles. This term just indicates where those two valves are located. Wow, you did a great job. See how easy it is to learn online? Visit foryourekg.com and enroll in our EKG class today.